This morning, we have another bird adventure to tell you about. It began in June when a young aspiring veterinarian in Virginia tried to save a baby bird. And you know what they say, no good deed goes unpunished. While at her father's house on June 13th, 11-year-old Skylar Capo rescued a baby woodpecker from being eaten by her cat. I've just always had a love for animals. An avid animal rescuer, Skylar was excited when her mom, Allison, agreed that she could nurse the bird back to health. She was just going to take care of it for a day or two and then let it go. On the way home, they stopped at this Lowe's, bringing the bird inside to shield it from the heat inside the car. Now, once inside the store, a woman confronted them, saying she was from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. What the Capos didn't know was that under the Federal Migratory Bird Act, it's a crime to take or transport a woodpecker. I was a little bit upset because I didn't want my mom to get in trouble. But that's exactly what happened two weeks later. The Capos got an unexpected visit from the same officer they met at Lowe's, accompanied by a Virginia State Trooper. Although the Capos released the woodpecker, Allison was issued a $535 citation. I feel harassed and I feel angry. Allison refused to take the ticket because she was no longer in possession of the bird. But last week, more than a month after her confrontation with the wildlife officer, she received the fine in the mail. But according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the citation was processed unintentionally and they apologized for the clerical error. And Skylar Capo joins us now along with her mother, Allison. Good morning to the both of you. Good morning. Skylar, this is quite a little controversy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you laugh about it. Now, what was it about this little woodpecker that made you decide, you know what, I need to go out and lend some help? Well, it was just, first of all, it was a really, really cute bird, and I just couldn't see my cat kill it and bring it up to my porch. Yeah. So, Did you have any idea, though, it was going to generate this type of controversy, you no. just going out there and helping a poor little bird? No, I didn't. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, they show up at your door with a fine for over $500. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they've since retracted that and called it a clerical error. But at the time, when it happened, what were your thoughts? I thought it was absolutely the most ridiculous thing I'd ever heard. Um, and I thought it was sending a bad message to her because she had gone out and tried to do something that she thought was a good deed and something that was just natural to her because she's always loved animals. And they were basically saying, well, if you, you, know, if you do this, we're going to slap your mom with a $535 fine with a year of possible jail time. So she was pretty scared. Like you can only imagine what that does. With I was a little, scared. What, yeah, you, you both should be. What did she think that you were going to... I, I don't know if she thought it was going to be in a cage in my kitchen or something, and it was our family pet. I have no idea, but I didn't want a woodpecker for a pet, for yeah. sure. How about you? Did you want to keep it for a pet, or did you know Not you had to let really. it go? really. I knew we had to let it go. I don't want big holes in my room, <laughs> in the drywall everywhere. That would not have been good. So, Skylar, what, what are you thinking when this woman kind of comes up to you and Mom and says... You need to do this, you need to do that. Were you a little surprised? Yeah, I was really surprised because I've never run into that before. I've saved a few birds before and no matter what I do, nothing's happened like that. So. Now, because of all this controversy, is that going to stop you from saving future birds? I mean, it sounds like you're kind of like a bird superhero. You're always in, um. the, <laughs> in the proximity of a, of a bird in, in stress. Yeah, I probably won't stop doing it because I know that it's saving something's life. I'd rather pay than let something die. Well... We thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank really you. great to meet you. <laughs> Birds all over the place. Thank you, too. <laughs> Skylar and Allison Capo.